Well, Mr Speaker, this, this tax plan that the Chancellor announced is very thin, it is lightweight and it is superficial and it is exactly what we have come to expect from this Chancellor. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I don't know if the Chancellor has ever had a prepayment meter. I don't think they fit them. I don't think they fit them, Mr Speaker, for swimming pools. The four and a half million people across these islands. She says it's pathetic. Pathetic. Four and a half million people across these islands. Four and a half million people across these islands experiencing the stress and despair of watching the money run out on their prepayment meters. And actually, what I didn't hear from her, uh, Mr. Speaker, she mentioned that Scotland wants, uh, as ever, more fiscal autonomy. Scotland already does have a considerable degree of fiscal autonomy. And what I didn't hear was whether the SNP are going to deliver the same income tax cut for Scottish taxpayers that the UK government is delivering as paid for in these numbers in 2024. I look forward to hearing from the Honourable Lady that the Scottish government will be cutting taxes for their taxpayers. Point, point of order, Alison. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. I, I just wanted to use the opportunity to uh, allow the Chancellor to, ha to hear a clarification. Um, the Chancellor has suggested that the Scottish Government might want to follow the UK Government in eventually introducing a 19% rate of income tax. I, I, I wondered, Madam Deputy Speaker, if it would be possible to have the Chancellor correct the record, because there is already a 19% rate of income tax for the lowest earners in Scotland. So, in fact, it's the UK Government that has to play catch up with the Scottish Government. <laughs> well, as the Honourable uh, Lady uh, knows, the Chair is not responsible um, for, the <laughs> for the speeches of ministers. Um, I am sure that um, if there has been any incorrect um, information given, the record will be corrected and obviously the front bench have heard the point that the Honourable Lady has made. Thank you.